This is Meet Your Maker, and our goal is to raid the hardest bases in the game with this plasma bow. Oh, Rosie, I love this boy. Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by Incoming Lordy, and in this video, we'll highlight one of the most underrated weapons out there in Meet Your Maker, and see if it's possible to complete impossible base raids with style. This is gonna be fun, so bring out your chalice and stay hydrated. The custodian that we've picked is the melee variant, alongside the weapon kits being highlighted, the plasma bow, level three, maxed out, and it's very crazy, a lightweight crossbow that kills guards. Very interesting the way it works, but at max rank, it also has different properties as well. The features are increased ammo capacity by quite a bit and reaching 15 ammo capacity. Effective range is 40 meters. Reload time is quite efficient. Striking flesh only and also has increased projectile launch speed by 20 meters per second. And this is going to be very nice and against heavier projectiles as well. And there's some nuance to this. It can actually counter some traps to some essence and destroying them, preventing from grappling you in some aspect. We'll talk about that as we go. The rest of our kit is highlighted as well. We do have the deflect blade, aka the Fury Edge, be able to deflect projectiles at level 2. Then we have the rest of our kit fully melee orientated with the Custodian, highlighting increased melee speed, melee lunge speed, and also after killing a trap, I get movement speed overall. Very great. And hardware being Phoenix Pod and also our grenades. Great utility here. Let's jump into some brutal matches and have some fun in Meet Your Maker. And the first base to encounter on these hard bases is a champion base. This should be quite interesting. And we see the base right in front of us. This looks gnarly. And the weapon as well, the plasma bow being maxed out completely. It is crazy looking. So I'm very interested to see how this works. Obviously, you can shoot it. And it has decent speed as well. Pass this base and hopefully be able to destroy it all like it's nothing. Deflect. Very easy. Many people don't know about that tactic that you can actually deflect last second. So keep that in mind with this blade here. The Sledge Blade cannot do this. Only the deflect one. Being through his edge. Let's get this kill. I'm actually going down. There's too many traps. Instant as well. Luckily. I pull out this. I'll use my crossbow. Get the kill. The bolts are right there, so I'll keep that in mind. I think one of them fell down from the blue Aurora. I can see. Very close to killing us. Got to watch out for that one. I'm going to break that trap first. Oh, it has Dot. That was so close to killing us right there. Destroy that. Destroy this. There's a trap on the right, I believe, that got us. Oh, that's very bad. Oh my god, I just missed the timing. I literally just missed it from Milo Lunge. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Start up. It's a start up. I might have to use Phoenix Pods immediately here, just in case. To bypass me, draw the traps here. Little guy's gone. RIP. Get that. Perfect. Destroy that. Headshot. Very clean. Get that. Get this. Get that, for sure. I'm going to activate that, just in case. Bolter. Tomb is right here. Oh, self-destruct! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so close. They nearly got me. I would have spawned it to death as well. Imagine that. Another trap up there. Hit that. Get that. Like I didn't rush this guy with melee. That's why the plasma bow is kind of interesting to utilize overall. Let's get this first. Jump there. Go there. Can I get this in time? Oh no, I try to save myself and then it actually cost me. Well done. And new players will try to grapple up there and hold on to it. As a way for safety. Very interesting base, I can tell you that. I died. RIP, man. Without the barrier against those grenades, you have to get the trap before it gets to you. Simple as that. I could possibly shot the actual grenades, each one that was chasing me, but even that is quite difficult to do. I'm getting bad luck, I can tell you that. This weapon is underrated in some essence, but in situations like this, when I feel like I can't push, it's just awful for us. So I like one of the heavier items in the game, because it helps it quite drastically. Destroy all these traps, all my XP. Dodge everything, nice. I'm safe. So you know this player actually builds with traps in every area. Like a spy trap next to every other trap. So we keep in mind, Phoenix spot here. See a player over there. One of the AI units. The minion. Got the shot. Perfect. And there's the best part. I can keep shooting all of them. And I don't have the fear of losing my bullets or having to recover them. Because I have so many to utilize. That's the best part about this. Nicely done. There's two routes here. And without the little guy showing me the way, I have to guess which one's which. I'm going to try to take this one. See what happens. But this is the best part. If I get a headshot here, or even a body shot, it still works. 
It's able to pretty much hit between any gap of the armor and one-shot them. Which is the best part. This part here, I can also shoot that trap when he tries to pull me in. As you see. Great tactic. Great tactic. If you know about it, you know. If you didn't, now you know. Watch out for that. Gym mats right there. That is a cannon. Oh my god. That was insane. Nearly got me. Nearly got me with that trap. I died there for nothing. We got Phoenix Pod. I'm going to try to bypass this instantaneously because I don't see any other trap there. Which means I can get it. Like it's nothing. And bypass everything here because I can. Get out of that area. Perfect. Destroy this. Watch out for the guys flanking. Yep, there we are. Get the backstabs with the shots. Headshot. Perfect. Refresh. That's the only pack there that you can't destroy armor with this build. Because I still want the deflect properties of the blade in order to help us out, just in case. But you can't really deflect them. It's kind of hard, the timing for it. Nicely done. Good trade. We're safe. Destroy this. Headshot. See you later, mate. Over here. Any other traps hiding in the midst of everything else? There might be a good chance at occurring. That one there, for sure. Grenades. Let them go down and just go back up. Perfect. We go bypass this map. Thank God. That was insane. Very interesting map. Really well done as well. That's our first match with the plasma bow. Very interesting at max rank as well. Gives you a lot of potential. But you have to be very accurate with your shots, I have to say. It's one of those things that maybe this weapon is more loved by PC players because they've got mouse and keyboard than other players than on controller because it does take a bit more accuracy in order to make it as useful as it can be. Let's go for the next raid. That's fine where this little guy's going. Cool ass base. A lot of positionings for death or grenade traps to activate in the future. Destroy that. Get that trap. That's tether. Oh, it's instant. No, that's unfortunate. I did not see that location there. I thought it was just a spike trap. That's I'm like, oh yeah, I'll destroy it. Because I wouldn't have done that then. We'll just bypass it. What's the point of actually wasting time there? Might have to pod this. I'm gonna pod over here just in case. Because I don't want to keep dying early game for nothing. This is a trap into an, a hologram. Okay, cool. There's another trap over here. Looks like it at least. Grenades, move! No! He's dead. We go for the loot. Thank you. Destroy traps in order to get synthetic supports. Very useful. It's just the quality of life stuff that you need to do in order to keep being able to play the game. And a good point. What the hell is this base? The little guy can climb this? That's crazy to me. Oh shit, I'm dead. I didn't die. That was lucky. I'm gonna tell you, if the guy arced up a bit, I've been dead. He knew players would go back down. I wonder if I push that forward. If I push that forward, would I survived? There could have been a case, but very hard. Very, very hard. Destroy that. The cannon. The cannon. Don't aggro. Don't aggro, please. Oh, he died. He died. Perfect. If he shot the cannonball there, I've been dead. He actually got killed by the own instant trap. Yeah, this base looks like it's going to be insane. Oh, crap. It's a kill box. Yeah, that's kill box. Okay, we got a couple of prison traps. I'm gonna hit it and come back. I don't know how to do that. I can't actually do this, can I? Unless I grapple there? Is that a safe zone? That looks safe as hell, that uh, grapple there. Do I risk it? There might be a bolt trap on the right there. Or should I just nade these traps here? Get nade the traps. That is the first opportunity to see what happens. That trap didn't break. That's awful. No! Okay, that is the actual safe point. I've got an idea, I've got an idea, I've got an idea. I've got a way of bypassing this, even with this build. Arc bearing here would be very much more useful for a switch out, but I'm dedicated to the build, no matter what. It just seems like Plasma Bow is good against minion bases, but if it's not a minion base, you want to be able to adapt with your builds and change them around a bit. That's maybe the goal there. If I walk to the side here, will that activate the other trap? Or is it depending on range? Got it. Perfect. Gotta keep mind there will be a mini guy behind us. I'm stuck here. I'm dead. <laughs> I forgot that I got to that point so quickly. Oh my god. I'm having so much fun with this game though. One of the best games out there. Okay, now here. Do I grapple through this hoping that I survive this? Or do I push up and grapple for the other trap? I'll show you what I mean. 
Nah, it doesn't work. Is this not doable for my build? Because that trap there in the back activates. I'm going to try and chuck a nade on that fire trap. I need to. Those fire traps are going to cost me. Did I break it? I think I did. Then over here. Stay on here. Stay on the wall. Cling onto it. Perfect. Now I'm completely safe. Now what I got to do is just bypass the cling timer went off. Oh my god. That was going to be really bad. Well done. Showcasing the potential of this build and the outsmarting of a base, even with that arc berry involved. Being one of the most OP weapons in the game. Or utility weapons in the game, to say the least. Destroy that. I'm not going to die here. I will not accept it. That's a bad trap. Oh no. I'm out. See you later. <laughs> oh, I want to do another. I have to do another base. That base was insane. Evolve! Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. I love that. Okay, another trap in outpost. Let's jump into it. Very cool. This looks stunning. One of that place today is actually loot. I want to double check this. That might be loot. Sometimes plays actually indicate where loot is. Perfect. Thank you for that. Is there any more uh, spots for loot? That's a trap. Oh, this is going to be quite annoying. I can tell you that. Bypass that. Perfect. Back in. Engage. Dodge. I might go for the other trap. That's decoy. It's not, but there was a grenade trap there. Destroy this. Destroy that. What's up there? That's an interesting spot. I don't know why it's like that. Self-destruct. Move away. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I nearly died. That was so close. I'm going to pop this. How the grenades killed it? Let's see. It did. Oh, that's so perfect. Sometimes that's what ends up happening. Some of the bases actually backfire on themselves. Like this. What is that? Very easy. Very, very easy. Even in a champion level base. So it can be walking the park. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was trying to find a better position there, but I couldn't. That still worked out. Dodge that. Perfect. Move, move! Oh my god. Self-destruct traps. You gotta love that. This guy's using the self-destruct traps really, really well. Give me all the loot. Thank you. This is the base that we heard from outside. A little guy just walking past. Perfect. Is we getting close? Walk away from that. That might be a self-destruct as well. It is. Thank you. I'll try and stop speedrunners. I get it. It's not the best strat, but it still works. He has little nooks everywhere, so I'm guessing he has spawners. Keep going. I get this whole base. Okay, gem map. Nice. Keep going. In the majority of situations, just walking backwards is usually a safe option. There's not many times it's actually bad unless there's minions spawning behind you. That's the only time it's really, really bad. Other times, walk in the park. Oh my gosh, self-destruct. Close. That only got me. Where was that? Wait, what? That one there? That's dirty. Should have known. 
That's a very dirty position. That's the sense of verticality they can use in your base to get people off guard. Kind of works out pretty well. Dude, we got this. Well done. Absolutely amazing. What a crazy champion base. That was a lot of fun. That was absolutely a lot of fun. But that is our build. Using the plasma bow with this edge blade as well. Be able to deflect and pretty much maneuver around certain things. Teaching your mates how to use the plasma bow in certain scenarios. Usually what you want to do is find a gap between enemy armor and kill the enemies like that. Some maps it's going to be much more prominent on against bases with a lot of minions than other ma maps with traps. That's when you may have to switch your build around, change it up. But I want to make sure it was persistent throughout this gameplay and highly built in action in all cases. And there's some actual fundamentals you can utilize for, like stopping grapples from pulling you in and being tethered. You can actually stop that from occurring, hitting headshots with a weapon or finding the little spots between the armor and getting shots with the weapon from behind and having 15 bullets in the actual crossbow is absolutely insane. So that's what becomes quite fun with this build. It makes it very easy to surpass certain things, but can be challenged in certain circumstances as you saw here. But mate, tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Shall we continue this series on Meet Your Maker? I'd love to know you Pins and thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, mates, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we're through this. And I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates. <laughs>